Hey, this is Jack from Alpha Charts with a long view video. Today is July 1st, 2023. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. Now, I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. All right, so the long view video is monthly charts, right? This is monthly charts only. We're going through all the in main indexes, uh, S&P sectors, uh, we're going to talk about bonds. Well, then we'll go through 18 of the largest cap stocks um, in the market. And we will see and get a better feel on, on the health and, and what's going on in the market. Before we get started, though, two announcements. First one is um, follow me on Twitter at AlphaCharts365. Um, and if uh, you want more content, you I do offer a um, subscription, $10 a month, super cheap for what you get. Um, just go to Alpha Charts 365, click on subscribe. And uh, again, if you're interested in that. Also, Trader Lion, um, they are doing another masterclass. They are just you know awesome with these masterclasses. I'll link down below to it as well. Um, both my uh, my super follow and this masterclass, but it's with John Boyk this time. So this one I am really really looking forward to. Um, like many of them, this looks phenomenal. So this guy has John Boyk. If you don't know him, he has studied markets and the masters of the markets all the way back from the beginning, right? So 120 years of markets analyzed, monster stocks, special guests, um, and, and so on and so forth, right? So why is this cool? Because first off, history rhymes, right? So if we train our eyes to see what good periods look like, what tops look like, what bottoms look like through history, we're going to have a better idea of what to look for going forward. Um, if we have a bit train our eyes to see the best stocks in history, we're going to be able to, again, identify them going forward. Uh, special guests, at least three, maybe more. Um, so, which is pretty awesome because, again, you know, uh, that just adds a lot more content. Um, I know they're giving away a couple ebooks with this um, because I watched the uh, there's there's um, a, a video on on their YouTube channel and uh, and I watched that again. Totally looking forward to this one. If you're interested, um, it looks like they have some kind of early bird ticket going on right now. I think it starts next week. You'd have to again click on the link below. Um, you know. And uh, oh, here are the webinars. Look at this. Um, everything's recorded and archived for a lifetime. So if you miss one, it's no big deal. And this is the format, I guess, that they're doing. Um, okay, there's a pricing early bird special right there. So, yeah, I'm just looking at this for the first time, too. There's your two ebooks we talked about. Um, how to make money in stocks is one of them. That's pretty awesome. And Monster Stock Lessons, that's pretty awesome as well. A separate workbook that they're going to make just for this. Um, uh, a 230 page textbook, um, some charts that have never been seen pub publicly, according to them, uh, special guests, lifetime access. And, um, yeah, so this looks absolutely fantastic. So if you're interested again, traderlion.com, I'll, again, I'll link below for you guys. Um, let's get to these charts. All right. Spy. So monthly chart on the month up 6% of the month came back around through this consolidation out spy does everything right it's up six percent looks great let's see what the cues did cues also up six percent they again have broke out prior and now we're moving higher and again we look like you know it looks like it wants to come back and retest this 400 level we'll see I'm just jumping around just a little bit, just to hit all the major indexes. Then we'll go through the sectors. Um, IWM is still in this range. Again, nice week, nice month, right? Up 7%, but still in this range. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get these off and just use a 10 and 40, right? 10 month and 40 month. I think that's right. Maybe I'll just use a 50. That's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to use a 50. I think that's my favorite. All right, so there's your 50-month average right there. And again, um, it's rising. Everything looks pretty good right there. And just to go back, here's your SPY, and here is your Qs with the 50-month average on there. Um, kind of held it and moved higher. Okay, maybe a little extended from it, right? We saw some space here. Um, you know, so we'll see. But I still think it goes higher. IWM, 
above the 50 month but still in this kind of range so you can see a little bit weaker but if it breaks out maybe it catches up we'll see and how here's the dow jones um this little flag area it broke out again not quite as strong as the other ones but i wouldn't be shocked if we again get up here to this area not doing anything wrong at all and mid caps um This is, you know, potentially, you know, we'll see if this plays out or not, but uh, but it's doing everything right. And it was up 8%. Mid caps were the strongest of all of them, right? Love the mid caps. All right. So as far as the indexes go, everything is doing well. Uh, the mid caps are the best, or did the best, spy and cues then. All right. Let's look at XLY. XLY was up 12%. Oh my goodness. 12% on the month. Just what a fantastic move that was. XO um, looks great. Again, just strong, strong move. XLC up 4.5% on the month. Again, broke out of this area, but it's been strong. But you see how the rotation may be into XLY at this point, right? Um, you know, so let's keep going. XLI, industrials, up 10.79%. And again, right near all-time highs, right? And that's important, all-time highs. Because, you know, we can see how XLC is nowhere close to it, right? XLY, eh, not really that close to it. But XLI, right there. So that's that looks pretty good. XLK, up almost 6% and near all-time highs as well, which is really good. Um, but again, not as strong as the um xly or xli right um let's look at materials xlb yeah there we go uh xlb up 10 percent very strong week a month right a 10 percent move not near all-time highs but looks great healthcare 3.82 that's not nearly as strong again it's in a consolidation pattern but not nearly as strong on the month, right? Real estate looks, you know, again, not nearly as strong, still not what we're looking for. Big difference between, you know, real estate and, you know, here's technology, here's industrials, right? See how it's above a rising 50 month? Now, this is like a flat 50 month, not nearly as good. And we do bonds last. XLE, again, still above a 50 but really could not get out of this area, kind of came back. And maybe it's just going to, you know, find a, some sort of bottom here, right? Maybe we can do this, right? And maybe it holds here, but right now it's still not, not the greatest looking chart. XLP, again, 2%, nothing to talk about. Financials, 6%. Again, it's just kind of consolidating in here. Utilities. Utilities. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? XLU. Again, not my, you know, just not really doing much. Up only 0.77 on the month. So you see the defensive sectors of the chart uh, of the index not really doing anything. And the more aggressive sectors, things like consumer discretionaries, are doing very, very well. Right, twelve percent up. Right, that's that's great. Industrials, eleven percent up. Right, uh, even in technology, that's only six percent. Uh, this was materials up, almost eleven percent. Great, and bonds, bonds were down on the month. So there you go. Right, so you don't want to be in bonds right now. Um, you want to be into some of the more aggressive sectors. It seems like right. Um. Let's now go into the mega caps. Again, this is just for a feel of the market of what's going on. This is by up. To, I always like to sort by up down volume, but that's you know, you know. So Tesla by far had the most up down volume, up twenty eight percent. Oh my goodness, twenty eight percent. Again, that consumer discretionary, right? XLY Tesla is a big piece of that, and and now you see why it was up so much. Fantastic move. Congrats to any Tesla longs. Very, very bullish. Visa, up 7%. 
again, this is a nice rounding bottom, right? I mean, if we can get above this area, that'd be really bullish for the market. Eli Lilly, they love their Munzaro. That's their weight loss drug that they're just making a fortune on and probably will continue for a while. You see, they just had, that's just a crazy move. Let me um, get my tool out here. 52% over the last four months, weight loss sells. Um, so fantastic move, all-time highs, looks great. Walmart, great, nice little 7% move, near all-time highs as well. Uh, actually, it looks like all-time closing highs. Very nice. So Walmart, all-time closing highs, that's a big deal. JP Morgan, up 7%. Again, not near the highs, but doing nothing wrong per se. Microsoft, try to get to all-time closing highs. Maybe it did, but it's it's right there at this area. Um, you know, after moving, again, if you look at this, over one, two, three, four, five months, you know, it moved top to bottom 60% in five months. What a strong move. Probably needs a little bit of a breather here. But overall, it looks fantastic. MasterCard looks just like Visa. You kind of see this in here. By the way, I'm using DeepView for my um, charting today. If you're, if you're interested, go to deepview.com. Apple, monster breakout, right? That's a monster breakout right there. All-time highs. Looks absolutely phenomenal. I think it could hit $3 trillion. Meta platforms. From the bottom, everyone thought Meta was dead, and boom, back from the dead, up, you know, mere 221% in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months. Wow. Taiwan Semi, a lot of toppy tails, and, you know, there's geopolitical risk with this one, but and only up 2% on the month. Berkshire Hathaway, 6%. You know, uh, heavy on industrials and trains and 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 uh, and some banks and stuff like that. So, um, insurance. Anyway, not I mean not the best place. You know, it's not Tesla, but it still looks looks pretty good. Uh, strong month. Up five percent for oil and gas. Johnson Johnson up seven percent. More of a consumer staple type place. Healthcare. Amazon eight percent up. And it's had a strong move off the bottom, right? Very nice. Um, still not near all-time highs like some of these other ones, but overall, not bad. Um, Avango, Broadcom, up 7%. Again, followed by a 28% month, right? So just an inside month. Uh, real strong for those um, semiconductors. NVIDIA, the biggest semiconductor, is at all-time highs and just doing absolutely phenomenal, right? Um, so that looks great. United Healthcare, uh, one of the first ones that was down, right? So healthcare we knew from the prior charts was kind of weak. United Healthcare, one of the biggest healthcare companies out there, um, down on the month. And that was the first one we've seen that is down, first chart today. Um, and then finally, we're going to look at Alphabet, which was actually down on the month too. That's in the communication section sector. All right, so only two charts were actually down and all the other mega caps were up. So a couple of things to uh, think about. First off, it's not five or six stocks driving the market right now. Today, right now, from the last month, you know, we're seeing broad based participation in the market. And we went through consumer discretionary. We went through financials. We went through healthcare. We went through uh, staples. We, I mean, we went through you know communication. We went through all the different sectors basically here, and we saw only two out of the I think it was eighteen, yeah, eighteen stocks were actually down, and they were just down slightly, you know, two percent and one point three five percent. So you see, all these other stocks were up. So things are looking good. It's consumer discretion driven by Tesla and Amazon, of course. Looks great. Um, you know, in general, the spy is breaking, you know, breaking out, has room to run. Everything's looking great. So I'm not gonna spend a ton more time on on monthly charts. My idea is to get a feel of the market. And right now, it looks 
very healthy, right? Then again, room to run potentially to the upside. Here's the cues. There's some room to the upside. So, uh, um, yeah, uh, everything looks, you know, on the monthly charts, you know, are things getting extended? Maybe a little bit. Could they extend for another month or two? Maybe. I mean, you know, we're not going to tell the market what to do. So, uh, again, hope, hopefully this helped. I uh, want to keep these videos kind of short. Uh, so, you know, your your time is valuable. If interested, uh, Alpha Trust 365. So check that out. Um, also, Trade Lion. Uh, historical analysis of the charts. You know, we got to train our eyes. So important. Uh, John Boyk is the best at it. So um, check that out. I'll link to both below. Okay. Y'all have a great day. Good luck this month. Bye-bye.